On this episode of Gun Shorts, we're going to do something a little bit different, and I think it's going to be fun. Today, we're going to talk about this Winchester Model 1906 Slide Action 22. But before we do, I need your help to juice up the algorithms. I need you to smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, ring the bell so you get notified the next time I post a video. Let's get started. The 1906 was introduced to replace Winchester's Model 1890. The 1906 and the Model 1890 are essentially the same gun, but Winchester changed the design with the intent of reducing the cost of production. The 1890, designed by the Browning brothers, was Winchester's first slide action 22, chambered first for the 22 shorts and then the 22 longs. Demand for these little 22s was significant, so Winchester needed to come up with another method for producing these guns at a faster rate for less money. Introduced in the 1907 catalog, the first serial number was built January of 1906. And there were several changes to reduce the cost of manufacturing, the first being shortening the barrel from a 24 inch to a 20 inch in the 1906. Also, some of the early 1890s were a hexagon barrel and all of the 1906 barrels were round. Now another change was the wood. Though the forearm is very similar to the 1890, the buttstock is not. Winchester eliminated the steel crescent butt plate and instead replaced it with this plastic or composite pad, eliminating the crescent and moving over to the shotgun style straight butt. Production of the 1906 continued until 1932 after 843,000 copies were made. Now the copy that I have on the table was manufactured in 1915 and is in remarkable condition. Though there's some patina, the bluing remains 80% plus and the wood has very few dings and there are no breaks or cracks anywhere in the stock. And what makes this even more significant as a collector is this finish is the original finish that Winchester put on this gun in 1906. Now the gun has its original sights, it has the original blade sight, and it also has this screwed on front sight that's designed to contour to the barrel itself, which is actually very unusual for Winchester. Now all the rounds fit into this lower tube. To access that tube, we simply turn and release from its indention and then we slide the rod forward until the opening appears. With access to that tube we're then able to drop the 22 rounds into the tube and then we can stack them, close the tube, lock it up. Now we have some amount of rounds available to shoot the gun. Because this is a slide action or pump action 22, we can then just slide back the, the forearm, which opens the chamber, opens the bolt. It lifts the 22 cartridge up so it's level with the chamber. Sliding the bolt forward, the hammer is now in the rearward position. So now we're ready to shoot the gun. Now these guns were chambered to shoot 22 shorts, 22 longs, and 22 long rifles. Now depending on which round you put in the tube, the tube will contain different amounts of rounds depending on that choice. For instance, 22 short will take 15 rounds, 22 long will take 12 rounds, and a 22 long rifle will hold 11 rounds in the tube. Now one of the interesting features of this 22 is this screw on the side of the receiver. When we unturn or untwist or loosen that thumb screw, it then pulls that out of a recess and then we're able to separate that firearm into two halves. We can then get in there and we can clean all of that mechanism. All right, we can look and see how it functions. It opens up all of this mechanism inside the receiver so we can get in there and do a good cleaning on that. It also gives us the opportunity to transport or store this firearm in a smaller package. Now you can see the recess that that thumb screw fits into and reassembling the gun is just the reverse of taking it apart. It just simply slides back into place. We do need to hold that thumb screw up so that it gets over that recess in the receiver. Tighten that thumb screw back down. 
when it's snug, the gun functions the same as it did before you took it apart. What makes this gun significant in American history, or probably the history of the world really? Now this gun's claim to fame, it was often used in carnival or amusement park shooting galleries. Now clearly Winchester wasn't the only manufacturer supplying guns to the galleries, but the 1890 and the 1906 are probably, arguably, one of the most famous. I hope you enjoyed this. This is a fascinating little gun and it has its place in any collection. Stick around till the end of the video and I'll show you a series of photographs of folks using this gun and others in these shooting galleries back in the day. Back when firearms had a much more positive image in the hearts and minds of people everywhere. Thanks for watching.